In this video, let's talk about the essence of Vipassana meditation. So Vipassana in its core is very straightforward. Basically what is happening is we are experiencing certain sensation or feeling inside our body. We are getting attached to those feelings on top of it once we get attached to it we start having desire and aversion and once we start having desire and aversion as they accumulate we start having like a mental issues up to a certain level right if it gets really bad we start feeling depression anxiety panic suicidal thoughts so it can get really bad right but then its goal is fundamentally the same thing and it's fundamentally the same thing that everybody is doing right we are feeling certain sensation we are getting attached and it's really weird that somehow this is not like a mainstream teaching right somehow physically we can connect right physically we can connect in the sense that if i am eating something unhealthy i get sick right if i am eating something like sugary or very fatty thing i am getting fat and we can make the decision right but it's not something that we are not aware of right it's not like i just don't know like if i eat sugary food this will happen right we can connect that somehow mentally we cannot do that right we just don't get it we don't understand that if we watch netflix for 2 hours a day what it does to our mind right how does attachment works how what if we you know engage in a certain kind of behavior how does it affect in our mind somehow we just don't get it it's very strange and it's not being taught on the mainstream level is very weird but anyway <laughs> vipassana kind of solve this problem right vipassana kind of put a light on this like this is what is going on bro <laughs> like take a take a look right just you are getting attached to sensation the sensations are turning into desire and aversion the desire and aversion are getting out of hands and then you are having a mental issues right so that is the core of the meditation vipassana meditation right attachments as long as these attachment to sensations are going on it doesn't really matter how you arrange your life outside you are going to suffer internally right your mind is going to be very active you are going to your default state will become suffering right if it this is going on and it's weird that you will feel like this is being this is being caused by certain events right this is being caused by this person or this is being caused by this job or this is being caused by this environment or whatever right some people feel so unhappy that their coffee is not the way they like it right so unless we solve this problem right that the sensation to at least unless we understand this problem right that the problem is mentally beyond a certain point right it's not it's not really wise to say nothing really matters right the finance matters right your financial uh, you will have like lot more trouble in the society if you are not financially well right health matters relationship matters right and how you live in those relationship these things matters but beyond that right is just nothing else really that much matters right even in those areas right it's so easy to distort things right it's so easy to put it's so easy to go wrong in the relationship if we don't understand that this is the how mind works right this is how what is going on inside ourselves goes on right it's so easy to distort any of these fundamental needs you can say if you don't understand how this thing works right so what is the way out right so vipassana is kind of promising like you know what you can get out of this right you can actually get out of this and the way you can get out of this is to basically first of all cultivate the mindfulness you have to be able to see this right it's not good enough to understand that you know there are sensation and attachment and all these things you have to be able to see it inside yourself that there are sensations are happening and how the attachment is being done on what level 
initially of course we can we don't have that much mindfulness to see it on that level but it is not that difficult to see that an attachment a sensation happens right especially in meditation this is not that difficult to observe that you know certain thought comes about certain events or you know there is a dullness or there's different sensation that is going on inside ourselves and then there is a reaction to those sensations right there's a anger or there's a uh, desire right these kind of things maybe we are not able to see how exactly we are getting attached where exactly we are getting attached but this is not difficult to see that when the sensation comes there the reactions are happening about you know anger aversion or craving kind of anger, you know reaction and that level of mindfulness as you practice the mindfulness increases and we can reach a point where we can see very very clearly this is how these things works not like uh, by understanding just directly as we, as our awareness matures as as our awareness gets deeper we can see these things very clearly so what vipassana is saying is basically you should be able to see this process a sensation attachment and craving right how this works you have to be able to see this process and once you see this process and if you continuously observe your sensation the other way of work, doing the same thing right one thing is like sensation attachment desire but another thing is if you learn to observe your sensation and its nature and its nature is the nature of impermanence right they are arising sensations are arising and passing and they are very short lived and if you start seeing that attachment doesn't happen right then if attachment doesn't happen you are getting out of this process basically right you are stopping this process what is what is in, like what exactly is this arising and passing in the beginning it is more like a gross level of arising and passing right we can see basically there is the sensation happened this is the anger came and anger subsides right sensation came sensation subside right fear came fear subside we can see this in the beginning on this level right that in more grosser level as we again mature in the practice we can see it in a more subtler level that within the anger how the sensations are coming and going coming and going as a wave right how within the fear the sensations are coming and going how within the craving the sensations are coming and going and i am not there but in more deeper layer you would see in a you know more frequent arising and passing in that sense right the more clearly we see this thing the more we get out of this whole process of attachment and aversion right the more we get out of this whole process of attachment and aversion a default state of the mind becomes very peaceful very calm and that state itself is more beautiful than the state of different sensation that we are experiencing right and we start to get established there right again here it is not really enough to experience a calm mind right you can say a thoughtless state it's not like goal is to go to the thoughtless state or anything like that but it's important that obviously when the mind comes down you're going to experience more like you know a natural state of mind which is very calm and very peaceful very empty right it is not really enough to experience that state and it's very weird once you see that right you know that with the experience this is much more finer and better quality experience but because the habit of attachment is so strong you still end up uh, you know getting attached to the more grosser sensation which are less enjoyable i mean which are less i mean it's like we are getting you know there is a food which is more healthier more tasty more better in every possible sense then the junk food that is in front of you know next to us it is more tasty that junk food it is more healthier than junk food and all the angles it is better than junk food but still we are eating junk food even though we know like this is better i mean this is happening this happens at least this happens to me in the meditation that it is it's so weird just because of the such a strong habit to get attached to certain sensation 
even though we know like oh why <laughs> this is much better but we end up getting attached to this right we end up doing this so it's not enough also to get some experience i wouldn't even say experience like yeah some experience of natural state of mind which is calm and peaceful and empty but it is you have to get established into that state right eventually with the more and more practice and as you get more established into that state then you permanently start to get out of this whole process of attachment aversion and craving so that is like the essence of vipassana right the point where the where we have to work is the point of observation of sensation and its nature if we could somehow become mindful of like how the sensation arises and how the sensation pass away we don't get attached to those sensations right if we can stay centered and we can stay present in these moments we can learn to get out of attachment and aversion otherwise otherwise it's really difficult internally if we can do that right and which is the default right unfortunately this is the default every time a sensation will happen you will kind of, you know kind of get attached and there's endless desires and craving and endless you know mental challenges that comes on top of it So yeah I mean that's the essence of the vipassana meditation I think in the next video we'll discuss different aspects of the meditation I really hope that everybody could just you know understand the value of the meditation or vipassana meditation or anything I mean understand just like we understand the physical body right that at least make you know once we understand the physical body like okay this is the cause this is the effect we are making a choice right still like some people would like to prefer to eat not healthy and be obese but they are not like at least making a choice of in their ignorance right they know like this is unhealthy they can do it or they don't want to do it that's their that's the different thing but the unfortunately with the mind the problem is we don't really know right we don't really know we are not able to somehow connect the cause and effects here and this is hopefully with these videos will get a little bit more awareness about this is how it is happening and then maybe we can make a much more you know educated choice whether we want to work on this whether we don't want to work on this or you know we can understand why you know certain things are happening internally very clearly So in the further video we will discuss a little bit more about uh, vipassana meditation and like you know how do we what what are the different aspect of it at least in my opinion as a practitioner and you know what we should why we should be practicing it 